Cooking appliances are here to make our life easier. And this one here has a lot of different claims. It says that it can cook a sous vide steak perfectly. Today, we're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna be cooking a dry aged steak, some pork chops and some lamb chops. Now the question is, how will it perform? Well. Let's find out right now. And everything starts off with this beautiful dry aged steak. It was dry aged for 35 days. As you can see, it is a bone in, two and a half inches thick and perfectly dry aged. So I know it's gonna taste fantastic. Let's see how the chef maker performs. Now, the first thing we gotta do is to season it properly. For that, I kept it quite simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook it. So as soon as you turn on the machine, you have a few options to choose from. For this one, I'm gonna try chef mode. Then I chose beef, scroll down, down to rebuy, click next, and then it asked me for my doneness. I went ahead and choose well done. No, 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 no. I'm just joking. Medium rare, baby. Now, the next step was awesome. It asked me if I wanted a classic flavor or sous vide flavor. Of course, I went for sous vide. Then it asked me for water. I gotta say, this step was pretty epic. But then once that was done, the only thing left to do was to go ahead, add the steak, close it up, and let it cook. It first started thinking about how long it was gonna take. Initially, it said 54 minutes. I thought that was very reasonable. And since that was happening, it gave me enough time to go ahead and make a basting butter sauce. This one is quite simple. I first started with a good quality butter. As soon as it started bubbling up, I threw in some garlic and thyme. The last thing we want is for this to burn. So as soon as it started getting a little bit of color, it was now ready. Now there's something extremely special about this brown butter. This is delicious on any steak. And in the end, to finish it off, I'm going to be basting my steak with it. As soon as it says finished, it was time to open it up. And take a look at this crust. Not bad. Nice gold golden brown and for doing absolutely nothing. This is very reasonable. Before slicing it up, we must let it rest. And as it was doing so, I made sure to add a good amount of that beautiful brown garlic butter we just made. As now it was time to slice. And when I did, oh wow. Now the big question is, does it taste as good as it looks? Well, I have no idea, but we're about to find out right now. Okay guys, we got a nice beautiful steak. I know you guys are always hungry. I'm okay. using that new machine that uh, we got today. <laughs> Okay. Gotta say, doesn't it look pretty futuristic? It looks like a really cool machine. It yeah. looks like uh, when in SpongeBob, when they say future. <laughs> <laughs> This is the deal. It looks pretty good. It looks like it hit a little bit over medium rare, but at the same time, this was a dry ager steak. But what's important is how it smells, and it smells great. <laughs> That's not what's important. What's That's important not important, important to me, brother. <laughs> Give me your honest opinion on this one, guys, okay? Okay. Because this is not it. We got two more to cook. Oh, I guess it's going to be a good day then, huh? <laughs> it's going to be a real good day, everybody. Cheers. 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 Ooh. Yo, that's delicious. I'm good right there. Well seasoned. Thank you, Leo. Tender, it has a nice crust on it. Mm -hmm. That's a damn good steak right there, Google. Oh man, the pepper really comes I'm through. mostly impressed by the crust, everybody. The crust mm -hmm. is quite nice, very impressive, wow. You made the whole steak in that chef maker thing? Yeah, everything, even the sear. That's pretty wild, the sear is pretty good, guys. Yeah, usually when you put it in an air fryer, you don't get crust like this, you know what I mean? But That's good right there. I will eat the whole steak, but let's cook some lamb. This is domestic lamb. It has a much milder flavor. I like to say that this is the Wagyu of lamb. Now you can cut this several different ways, but in order to make lamb chops, I like to cut two bones thick. This way it will give a nice presentation and in the end, two is always better than one. Now instead of seasoning this with a rub, I'm gonna go ahead and make a marinade. And this one is quite simple. Into the food processor, I threw in some onions, followed by garlic, orange juice, one chicken bouillon, a little bit of Miriam, fish sauce, some white vinegar, garlic chili paste, a good amount of salt and a tiny bit of Dijon mustard. As the only thing left to do is to go ahead and blend it on high and my marinade is done. It does not get any easier than that. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and throw all of the lamb chops into the bag followed by that incredible marinade we just made, vacuum sealed everything and let it marinate on my refrigerator for at least one hour. Because once the time was up I took it out, opened up the bag, sat them down on my cooling rack as it was now time to cook. However, I went ahead and removed some of the marinade. Remember, it already did its job. But I'm curious how Chef Maker is actually going to cook this one. Hopefully the results are going to be impressive. Wow. I mean, take a look at this lamb. We got a nice beautiful char on the fat, golden brown color all the way through. However, the question is, was the doneness perfect in the middle? Well, let's find out. As soon as I took my slice, wow, edge to edge perfection. Now this is what I'm talking about. However, how does it taste? Lamb, everybody. We got some lamb in the house. I mean, I know we don't cook a lot of lamb, but I'll be honest 
honest with you, we love lamb, especially after I converted this guy right here. I used to hate it. It is amazing, everybody, especially this one here. I already talked about it. Domestic lamb is the way to go. Enough talking, let's give it a try. That's a yeah? fact. Okay, That's go a for fact. it. How do we grab this? Just, uh, it's like a lollipop, Leo, just grab it. Go for it. Wow, Google, this is a nice char. You cooked this over charcoal? <laughs> Seriously? It's literally like, looks like it was cooked in charcoal. You know what? Yeah, you're right, Leo. It does look like it was cooked. No, it wasn't the machine again, bro. This is about the machine. It's video. the same machine? The same machine. <laughs> I say enough talking, let's give this a go. Ready? Oh, enough talking sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, come on, baby. No fork needed, boys. Right off the bone, it tastes awesome. Only took 10 minutes. There's no way. 10 uh, minutes to cook this. It is absolutely ridiculous. That's what I gotta say about that. This is actually, Super tender. Yeah. This is actually super flavorful. It's seared, it's tender on the inside. There's literally nothing wrong. This is perfect. There's only one problem. I just wish I made more, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. This is not enough to kill my hunger craving right now because this lamb is incredible. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because, yeah. hey, we're gonna cook some pork right now. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm hmm. But first, let me finish this. Yo, Emilio, send me more lamb, man. This is not enough. Please. Mm. And here we got our final one. Thick pork chops. Notice that they are two inches thick. I don't know about you, but thicker is always better. Let me know in the comments down below. Because this one, we're gonna keep it real simple. The first thing to do is to get it seasoned. I first went with a good amount of salt, followed by Guga's rub. Notice that I went heavy with the seasoning, because the next thing to do is to go ahead and get it cooked. So into the chef maker it went. As that was cooking, I decided to go ahead and make a simple salsa. And this one takes no time at all. Into a bowl, I threw in some tomatoes, followed by pineapple, a little bit of red onions, some lemon juice, green onions, a good amount of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper, and finished it off with a balsamic glaze. Now mix everything well, put it in a nice serving dish, I added some extra balsamic glaze, and a tiny bit more of green onions. Now this should pair perfect with the pork chops. Talking about that, by this time, this thing was done. And I mean, take a look at this color. It is not easy to get a nice, perfectly golden brown all the way through like this. I'll tell you one thing, I'm impressed. It looks like it was cooked beautifully. But like I always say, how does the inside look? So I went ahead and started slicing it up. And when I did, oh, wow, that thing is perfect. So I went ahead, added some salsa right on top, and honestly, I could not wait to see how it was gonna taste. Hey, pork, pork. let's go. Pork, yes, uh, let's give it a try. Please dig in, guys. Get a little bit of the salsa and everything together with the pork. Gotta say, everybody, I was most impressed with the crust that this produced. Look at it. That looks amazing. Enough talking, let's give it a try, this pork, because even though it looks great, it looks fantastic, it was cooked to 145, followed by a three minute rest. The important thing is. How's the taste? The taste, baby. That's all it that matters. That's the important Thing. Cheers. 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 Oh, so good. That's fire right there. It's salty. That pineapple gives a nice little sweetness. That pork is soft. Amazing flavor on it. Yo, this is really good. That's why Leo is here, so you can <laughs> keep talking and I can keep eating. Honestly though, I'm very impressed by this machine. Yeah, me too. Like, from pork to steak to freaking lamb, it does everything really well. I mean, look at that color. That color on that pork looks like it was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, bro. That's really good. He's your brother. Yeah, he's my brother, <laughs> the Leo pair. Let me ask you guys a question. I cooked three protein. Which one was your favorite? I want to say the lamb, just because it was really fun to eat it off the bone like that, but it also had a really nice crust. I mean, I thought it was even cooked on charcoal. That's how good it was. I think if you're asking me, I'm going to go with the pork, bro. Pork. It is incredibly juicy. On top of that, the little salsa that you made on top, it is very good. I do not like fruits and vegetables, but I like that. Um, <laughs> And that has a crust. It has a crust. And uh, the juiciness that you're talking about, there's a lot of juices on the board, even though it was rested for about three minutes, which is what you're supposed to be doing. It cooked in 12 minutes. Wow. Normally on sous vide, it's gonna crazy. take about an hour, an hour and a half. So tastes great, fantastic. Now to wrap it up, here are all my thoughts that I have about the Chef Maker. When I first saw Chef Maker, I was skeptical, but the proof is in the pudding. It cooked everything very nicely. There was no hassle whatsoever throughout any of the cooks. And in the end, everything tasted fantastic. The fact that it will cook nice and gentle in the beginning and put a nice crust for you in the end is quite impressive. It also has a DIY program which allows you to customize personal recipes. If I had to say one disadvantage of this machine, it would only be that you are limited by the size. You cannot cook a 15 pounds brisket in here, but if you're cooking proteins for your family, just like I did today for my guys, it does the job well. Exclusive patent, combi cook technology. It's easy to use, you don't need to have any knowledge, and it is a nice well thought out machine. If you are interested in getting one, right now they have a crowdfunding campaign and the early bird price has a 45% discount. And that is all I have to say about this incredible machine. I hope you guys enjoyed
like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, all the info will be in the description down below for you. See you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.